Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Taking a Risk with George George, and I'm here at the Worcester warehouse of Jeremy and George, and they've once again left me. They decided to go camping while I was helping s store all these boxes in this perfectly neat order, and they decided to just leave. So I guess I'm stuck here going through the boxes, so stay tuned, make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications, and hit those thumbs ups because you likes me. Alright, so here we are with the first box. It's another banana box. And the pleasure of opening it for you guys. Oh, awesome. Awesome. Oh, okay. So the first thing, the uh, protective newspaper that he had there, it has a beautiful picture of Jesus and I believe the Mother Mary. So that's kind of neat. Yeah, I might hold on to that one. Oh, man, for my viewers out there, I love you guys. Apple basket. Oh, that's kind of strange. A uh, horse with a stripper pole. I've never seen one of those. These are actually my favorite types of flowers because you don't have to water them and they never die. And they usually look pretty until they get dusty. Oh, another one. Love you guys. Whoa, 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 whoa. How did I not see this first? What is this? It looks like a toolbox and that's it. That's in this box, I think. Yep. Let's see. This thing has got something in it. Is it open? Oh, yes. Oh, no way. They're eight tracks. Okay, wow, that is pretty cool. It says this collection belongs to somebody, but there's no name. We got Run Run Run, the Gibson Brothers, Steve Martin. I thought he was a comedian, but I guess he also makes music. Yeah, I think I did know that. Neat, not a bad box. Really short and sweet. I like it. All right, so here I am with the next box, and once again, another banana box. I think that's all we're going to be going through today. And I wish there was real bananas in there because there's no food in this warehouse and no way rollerblades wow that is too cool who sells rollerblades at an antique shop i think they just kind of sold anything look at that kid size ones that's awesome oh man george was a roller skating fanatic when she was little me and her used to skate up by lake area our dad would take us and we'd all have a lot of fun up there we'd have a picnic and that's actually where i learned to play chess and the first time I ever beat my dad was when I was seven years old. My dad's brilliant. So I beat him at seven years old playing chess, and I won a video game console out of it. So kind of the reverse effect of what he probably should have done. But he did a great job with me, so I love you, Dad. And yeah, this is all just more, more roller space. These ones, oh, man, these are too cool. Mongoose, that's a huge brand. R2-D2, these are star wars roller skates please be my size there it is right there star wars right on the inside made in china or as somebody says china that is too cool loving it that is oh man what a find all right so before i get to this next box if you guys have noticed my camera is a lot more stable and that's because of a wonderful fan named Peggy Smith who I've got a little clip that I'm going to play so stay tuned and thank you so much Peggy you're awesome. Hi guys this is Taking a Risk with George George and I am at the Jeremy and George household and uh, I wanted to give out a special shout out to Peggy Smith who sent me a gift in the mail and I'm going to go through it and show you guys what she sent me. She's awesome. All right so here it is got my knife. No it's not that cool. It does say Samurai, which is pretty cool. There we go. Have to do this one-handed. Much sharper than my knives. Let's see. This is a special type of unboxing for you guys. Nice brown paper bags for some lunch. Some more brown paper bags for lunch. And awesome, here it is. My video taking capabilities have gotten a hundred times better. No more camera clamps. That's what I ended up calling it. Here it is. Thank you so much, Peggy. This is awesome. This is going to make things a lot easier for me. Once again, thank you, Peggy. And here we go with the next box. Things are a lot more stable on my end now. Oh, oh my goodness. Awesome. An old backgammon set. I haven't seen one of those in a long time. A sweet old checker set. Super cool. Uh, I don't even know what this is. Music Maker? 
If you know what this is, please post it in the comments below. This looks super cool. Super futuristic for the time it came out. Nice little dollhouse. I can see myself living in there. Oh, look at that. There's a house in the background. So you get a house and you get a house in the background. Ooh, some Sylvian stained glass para lamps. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, so these are like disco lights. Oh, wow, those are like the big heavy duty ones. Yeah, I'm not going to open that in case I break it. I can feel the fumble nuts coming on. So we're just going to put both those inside. One of them is green. Actually, both of them are green, which is my favorite color, so perfect. And then Sidewinder. Once again, I've never heard of this, but that looks like so much fun. Before the age of technology, this would have been my jam. Head-to-head -head uphill race. Oh, oh, oh. Never mind. If it's uphill, I'm not doing it. So cool. A bunch of cool games. All right, so here's the next box. Surprise, surprise, bananas. Let's get to it. Oh, this one's this one's all gummed up. Yeah, this one doesn't want to open. All right, just gotta wiggle with a little bit, need some grease. Get the uh, protective newspapering out of the way, and oh no way! Oh my goodness, how cool is that? It is a Panasonic. I believe this is a uh, a recorder. So you would plug this into your phone, and it would record your tape your tape recorder. So before voicemail, this is what people used to use, and this probably has somebody's. Oh man, I don't remember how these things work. I don't see a jack. There it is. Oh yes. Oh no way. This probably has some encrypted messages on it. This could be the next Watergate. You never know. This could have more information about Watergate. Resentful life. Maybe not. Well, I mean, maybe. That, that's a weird thing. That's a weird name for tape and it's written on there in ink. Somebody decided to write that on there. Oh, just flipped it over. Cool. That is awesome. That thing is heavy too. What else we got? Oh, we got a little glassware. I definitely want to be careful with it. Oh, nice. In the bag, we've got cards and a couple of Christmas lights. So, I've learned from Jeremy recently that the older Christmas lights are actually collectible, so it's always good to look out for those. And that looks like a garden I'd grow. Oh, very cool. Nice little, little birdhouse looking thing. I used to love building birdhouses in wood shop. This is some birds have been here, you can tell. So the birdhouses are being used. Birdhouses. Oh, this is too cool. I love it. The little teacup set. Let me show the other side where the print actually is. That would be helpful. Oh, that is nice. Oh, this is kind of heavy. Oh, I believe you just put a probably some candle wax right there. This is a solid block. Very nice. Let's see, we've got hang this like this. Oh, I've seen these before. I think. There it is, the little milk. These are cute. I love this little tea set. There's a little bit more, too. Oh, wow, somebody actually stuffed something in there. It feels like toilet paper now that I've actually touched it. Gross. There's the lid for that. And once again, none of, these, none of these are mine, so if you do like anything you see in any of these videos, please shoot a email to George, and you can always find their email address on their page, What the Hales. Uh, you're more than welcome to message me and I will just relay the message, but it is better for you guys to just go through them. Oh, this is neat. This is a, this winds up and makes something. I am always finding music, but it's always good to have a beat in your heart. So it always helps to find music. Beautiful little plateware. Look at that, Virginia. These are too cool. And I'm going to put them down because I already feel the fumble nuts coming on. And here's another one of those. Sorry about the lighting, this is a warehouse and I don't have access to light. Remember, they left me. Uh, this is a scented chip, so I'm guessing this scented chip goes with this. And this is an old school Sensi, if I had to take a guess. I'm probably 100% wrong and I know somebody will correct me in the comments. Oh, I thought this was another Avon thing, but it is not, I don't believe. It could be. More than likely is. I seem to be wrong a lot. Green candle, that's nice. Candlestick holder. What else do we got here? We got a, a cooler birdhouse. This one's really nice. It's got room for one, two, three, four, five, six of our Ovarian friends. Very nice. And that is Ovarian, not Ovarian. Oh, easy accent decorator. Wow, this is old school. This is metal. I can hear it in there. Nowadays, they just use plastic and more plastic to do the exact same thing. So it's more convenient, more 
<laughs> well, I mean, you, you still have to throw it out, so you're making waste. But look at this. I cannot wait to show you. This has our crittered friends on it. And, oh, they definitely nested in here. That's for sure. Look at this. Get a nice big opening on the bottom. It's kind of weird because the beautiful top comes off, and it's a see-through. So this is super cool. This actually reminds me of the Tree of Life at Disney. And look at the detail on there. Look at that, you have frogs, flutterbys, trash pandas. I, I love finding them. We got squirrels and a bunch of fungus. Very cool. I really enjoyed this box. Oh, maybe the little teacup set goes inside here, which doesn't make sense to me, but it does. Cool. Let's go with the next box, and there's no top on this one, so I can see right in here, and it, it blew me away when I saw it. So I definitely have to show you guys the cool stuff that's in here. And off the rip, I've got these wonderful toys that are three plus. That says taking talking chihuahua. That is the Yokero Taco Bell dog. I have not seen one of these for years. Probably close to 15, 20 years. I've not seen one of those. And not only do I have one, I have two. Three. Four. Five of these kickable dogs. I love it. How cool is that? And then another thing I saw in here is, is are these ashtrays. So this is, you've, oh, we found a lot of ashtrays in here, but this one, this one's super cool. And it's green, which it does show, which is great. But it looks like you can actually store your cigarette right here on the slip and the ash will just drop right into there. So that is awesome. And then the other, there's just blue glass. I've got brown glass. I've got blue glass and green glass. So if you need your glass, let me know. I've got every shape and color. And a, a fun fact actually about colored glass, a lot of it comes from the Depression era. So it was cheaper for them to put out colored glasses than clear glass. Somebody please correct me on that. Oh, 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 this might go with this. That looks like it might fit, but it doesn't fit right away, so I'm not going to force it. Everything I've forced in my life has fallen apart, so I'm not going to break that and candle stick holder. Maybe I'll put a candle in there later when the lights actually go out on me. But I am going to, if you guys actually see right here in the background, there's a mattress. So you can only assume where I'm going to have to stay tonight because Jeremy and George left me to go camping. Sorry, I don't normally get loud, but I'm, I'm excited about camping in a warehouse while they camp outside. Let's find out what's in this blue box. It is workout gear, so I have something to do later to keep me busy when I'm not filming. And not going through these millions of boxes that just seem to never end. Maybe I'll find me something to eat later on. And actually, a fun fact about the sickle, the ancient Egyptians invented a sickle for cutting down wheat and barley. So neat. Guys, I've tried to escape several times. I can't go through any more boxes. I'm worn out, so I'm just going to go ahead and call it a night. So... I appreciate you guys watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. Um, oh, that's the wrong way. Son of a gun. Uh, like, like the videos. Give them a thumbs up. Help me out. I'm stuck in a warehouse. I have to sleep here tonight. It's a little dirty, but I don't mind. It's a, it's a dirty job, but somebody has to do it, from what I've been told. So, please subscribe. Like the videos. Turn on notifications. Don't mind that shadow. And uh, if you could, send me a food package, because... The seeds in those boxes are not going to cut it. I don't, I don't want to eat those anymore. They're getting stuck in my teeth. You guys have a great night, and I'll try to do the same.